this video, we are going to see cool card hover animation in Framer. Here I'm going to create the three cards. One will be in an active state and other two will be in a blurry state with a cool effect. Without making a much delay, let's get into the video. So first let's start with creating a frame. Now inside it, let me create another frame for the image with a width to 350 and a height to 470. Let me give the radius to 20 pixel. So here inside it, we are going to create an image and um, a title, a small description and also one arrow here. So for that, let me create another frame in order to hold the image. Now this frame will be the image. And let me make the width to fill. And coming to the height, I'm going to give it as a relative. So the relative will be around 80%. So as of now, let me give the person as 80%. If we need to change it, we can do it later, okay? So I have, we have created the image. And for the whole, I need to give the a color. I'll let it be a black color. Okay, fine. And what I have planned. So what we are going to do is, uh, we need to give a small gap. We need to give a small gap between the background and an image. So with the choosing of the image wrap, let me give the padding to 5. Now for this image, we need to give the radius value also. So let me give the radius to 15 pixel. So this will be the basic one. And now we need to give a title, a small description and also an icon. So inside this image wrap, uh, I have created one a title and also a description let me give it as title wrap okay and here we need to give an arrow so for that i'm going to the insert let me search for prosper icon let me bring it here it will be here but actually we need to we need to make this icon to be here so for that let me bring it outside the title wrap now let's create a, a stack for this title wrap and a prosper icon so let me add the stack. Um, this will be a content wrap, okay? And for this content wrap, let me make the direction to horizontal, okay? It will be like this. And also, I need to make the alignment to be at the top. And for this prosper icon, let me give the width and height to 40 and 40. Let me check whether it's good or not. Okay, it will be good, I think so. And for the color, let me give it as a white. And for this, uh, it will be arrow right. So where is the arrow? Arrow right. And also we need to give the padding value uh, for this content wrap. So let me give the padding to 5 again. I hope it will be okay now. So that we have made it the basic setup. So now we are going to create a component because we are going to use it again and again. So let me make it as a component. Let it be image. Let me create it. So this will be the variant 1. This is the a big one and let me create another variant. Um, this will be the smaller one. Okay, whenever I hover over the image, this will be the result. So in the idle state, this title and the description should not be visible. So I need to hide that. So for that, coming to the small, I'm going to this title wrap. No, this content wrap. Let me go to the visibility. Let it make it as no. And for the small, let me change the width to 300 and also height to 300. And coming to the image, let me make it as a fill. Okay. And uh, what I have planned is, apart from this main card, the other card should be in a blurred state. Okay. So for that, I have selected the small variant and I'm going to the style. Let me choose the filter that is the blur. Okay. Um, let the blur be fine will be fine. Okay. It will be fine. So in the idle state, this card will be in a blur. So in an active state, it will be like this. Okay. So we have created the two variants. So we have created the two variants. Okay. Let's come back. So we have an image here. Let me duplicate it for two times. Okay. Um, so for the first one, uh, let me make the middle part to be in an active state and other will be in an inactive state. Okay. It will be a small and for the third, it will be small. 
and also I need to give the gap between three cuts. Let me give the gap to 75 or 80. Okay. So coming to this card, uh, this one should be small. Okay. Uh, we have already specified the width and height. So let me give it as fit content and also a fit content. Okay. The same follow-ups here. That is a fit content and fit content. So this is how it will be looking. So, um, and also what I feel is I need to make this card to rotate a little bit, okay? Uh, so, by selecting this, I'm going to the transform and choose the rotate. So, let the rotate be minus 7. Uh, the same follow-ups here. Uh, let me select the transform, rotate, minus 7. No, the minus 7 will not be looking great. Let me give it a 7 okay okay we have uh, I made a basic thing and also we need to change the image right so for that we need to create the variable so we didn't do that so again I'm going inside it I'm choosing this image uh, let me create the image variable let it be the image and for this one let me create the content uh, that will be the plain text and it will be the title and for this one uh, let me create the plain text this will be the content okay okay so we have created the variable for the image title and the content so here let me change the image for the first one so i have changed the image of the first one for the third one so i have changed the image of the third one also so this will be the design and now uh, what i feel is when the active code is visible i need to uh, make it pop it a little bit so in order to do that uh, we need to give a shadow for that okay again i'm going inside it um, I have chosen this uh, big variant. I'm going to the shadow. Uh, let me enable the theme so in order to uh, so that I can able to see it very clearly. Okay. Let me adjust the x axis and the y axis. Let me increase the blur and also the spread. Okay. Let me check it in the home. It's looking good. Um, again, I'm going inside it. Uh, let me decrease the opacity to okay again i'm going to the home okay i feel it's looking great now so we have created the basic setup uh now we need to uh, create an interaction uh, between all these card whenever i hover over this card it should be like this uh so it will be like a shuffling okay uh we need to create the interaction so for that again i'm going to create an another component um so for that let me create a component uh that will be the whole image so this will be the variant one and so let me create another variant let me bring it here again let me create another variant that is variant three let me bring it here okay okay this will be the variant one let me come to the variant two before that let me choose the let me choose the second card and let me change the title to to and change the content whichever you need and let me select the third card and let me make the product to three okay this will be the variant one let me come to the variant two here um <coughs> the first card should be the active one so let me choose this one and let me select it as big let me change the rotation to zero okay and for this one that is the second card let me change the variant to small uh, let me change the rotation to seven okay so that we make the second variant also and for the third variant, let me select the third card. Let me give the variant to big and change the rotation to zero. And for the second card, let me change the rotation to minus seven and change the variant to small. So this will be the three variants. Now we are going to give the interaction between these three variants. Okay. So let me zoom in. So whenever I hover this one, that is the first card, it should go to the variant two okay so let me create it like this whenever the mouse enter it should go to the variant 2 and for the second card it should be the variant 1 itself and for the third card it go to the variant 3 that is on mouse enter okay so we have created the three variation let me check so let me check now it's working great but i think i need to change the transition Okay, so for that I'm selecting this variant one. Let me choose the transition to ease in out uh, with the time of 0 0.4. Okay, uh, now let me check. Yeah, it's looking great. This transition looking cool. Okay, 
So we have seen how to create this animation. I hope you have really enjoyed this video. If so, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more framework contents. And finally, don't forget to share it with your fellow designers.